The battle for the lads at the back, just trying to make the time cut over the last week, has been absolutely brutal. We've seen Mark Cavendish struggling on certain stages. We've all been willing him in, of course. Not that he needs our support. He knows how to do this. He knows how to take it. Aww. Let's just savour this for a second. We have seen all the emotions of Mark Cavendish's heart and soul poured onto the roads of France throughout his career. This a beautiful moment indeed, realizing, of course, I'm quite sure what he has achieved, what he has been through to get to this moment, sheer relief to make it to the, the end of his final Tour de France, to put all the naysayers to bed, to have his name printed solo in the history books and to crown what has been an absolutely remarkable career and one that has been a privilege and a roller coaster to watch along from the outside as Cavendish does what he always does. Congratulates and thanks his teammates who've been by his side, who believed in Project 35, who have shepherded him up every single climb of this Tour de France. I've goosebumps thinking about the fact that this is it. This is good. Well, tomorrow will be the end for Mark Cavendish, Robbie. We talk about the end of eras in sport. This is a big one, though, isn't it? Oh, it is a big one. He's been so prolific throughout his career. It's been a very long career, so many tours with, with all the ups and downs that we've, we've documented along the way. And uh, maybe he would have liked to go out with a, a final sprint stage in Paris, but it's just not the way the, the stars aligned to be able to do that. But in a, in a way, this is kind of a good way to go out because although there, there's the, the emotion, obviously, at this moment, there must have been the thoughts rolling around in his mind of, oh, I'm glad I don't have to do this bit of it again. You know, getting into the finish, inside the time limit, struggling all day. But uh, he can really thank his team a lot for, for getting him to this point and uh, everything that's gone into this Project 35 and making it happen. You can see the president of the ASO, the president of the UCI, coming over to congratulate Mark Cavendish and surely to thank him for everything that he has brought to this sport, Sean. We don't have an awful lot of global superstars in cycling, or at least they don't come along very often, and Mark Cavendish has been one of those, hasn't he? Well, he's one of the hard men, and to be in there for that long, as Robbie said, the career, the ups and downs, last year crashing out, would he go on, would he not go on, coming in this year, starting the tour, and it looked like it was going to be a difficult one from day one. Mm. And he just battles his way through, gets his record, and finishes Tour of France, and the battle we see there again today to finish. You know, the race is now big tours, they're not easy for those sprinters, and as you get older in your career, it gets much more difficult, but you can see the emotion pouring out, and... Uh, Kevin Dish, yeah, he's one of the, uh, the, mo the monument names of cycling. Mm, it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's, like I say, it's a privilege to have been witness to this era in cycling.